Hey guys! Kumusta kayo? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Moe and I do contents about basic nursing in skincare and hair care. So guys, for today's video, we will talk about a frequently asked question about cutting finasteride 5 milligrams into 4 pieces for hair loss. I will give you guys some tips and advice on how to use it properly, how to cut it properly, and things to consider before cutting this medication. And so, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So guys, finasteride 5 mg or Proscar, okay, is a medication that is prescribed for somebody that has benign prostatic hyperplasia. Finasteride 5 mg is not the dosage that is for male pattern hair loss. It is 1 mg or Propecia. Now, can you use finasteride 5 mg for hair loss? Oh, definitely. Can you cut finasteride 5 mg to 4 pieces? Absolutely. Will it have the same effect as Propecia? or finasteride 1 milligram for hair loss I do not really like I do not see why not but guys before you get excited and jump for joy here are some of my advice and tips that you must do before you start taking and cutting finasteride 5 milligrams for hair loss first have a consultation with your doctor okay get your prescription and get your prescription filled from your local pharmacy here in Canada finasteride 1 milligram is not covered by the government and so you have to pay the full amount as this medication is a cosmetic medication and it is not considered very important I mean you can live without your hair right finasteride 5 milligrams is used for a much more concerning medical condition as I said benign prostatic hyperplasia you need this medication to help shrink the size of the prostate so you can void easily so this medication is covered by your health insurance and so you are not paying for the full amount I have seen some people receiving finasteride 5 milligrams from their doctors to treat their hair loss and instructing them to just cut it and so they can save money and so this is a talk between you and your prescribing doctor second that I want to point out and guys this is very important so please pay attention before you go and cut the medication please be aware that finasteride regardless if it is one milligram or five milligrams pose a health risk for a developing fetus please be very careful when cutting this medication wear a nitrile gloves make sure to cut it away from a pregnant woman clean your station after cutting it as this medication if it is not handled properly may cause teratogenic effect on a developing fetus what I can highly advise is once you got your medication from your pharmacy, ask them if it is possible to just cut it for you. I'm pretty sure that your pharmacist will be willing to do that and it is a very wise to ask them to do it instead of making a mess in your own home. Aside from that, the pharmacist has all the proper tools they need to cut the medication properly. <music> Guys, finasteride 1 milligram is to be taken daily and that is the standard dose and frequency. In a week, you get a total dose of 7 milligrams. However, if you have finasteride 5 milligrams and you cut it into 4 pieces, you get a total of 1.25 milligrams each, correct? So if you take 1.25 milligrams in a total of 7 days, mathematically, it is going to be 8.75 milligrams, which is for me overdosing. So what I can recommend you guys to do is is to take the 1.25 milligrams times five days and not to take it on Saturday and Sunday. This way, it will give you a total of 6.25 in a week. However, let me tell you, for a cosmetic purposes, I'd rather have you to take lower dose than to overdose. The action of the medication will still be the same. Finasteride, both 1 mg and 5 mg are DHT blockers. They both work on your hormones to reduce the conversion to DHT, which is a stronger hormone that attacks, you know, the hair follicles and the prostate, which causes all these nasty inflammations. With 6.25 mg of Proscar in a week, will you still get the same result with 7 milligrams of Propecia? Yes, in a certain degree. So if you do not have any more active hair follicles and your head looks, you know, shiny, this medication will not be able to do anything. You might need to consider other treatments such as hair transplant. Now, let's talk about the side effects. Regardless of what dosage you are taking, 
taking, finasteride is a medication that is associated with several side effects. Although it is in less than 2%, it still comes with an undesirable effect. I always believe that even if you take the smallest dose of this medication and or even the topical form, if you are sensitive to this particular medication, chances are that you will experience undesirable effects. That is why a strict consultation with your family doctor is a must. Finasteride is an amazing and effective medication to treat hair loss in men. But please, always consult a healthcare profession prior to using this medication. I did a video about the things to consider if you're thinking of using finasteride for hair loss. If you're interested, go and check it out over here. Guys, that 1.25 milligrams times 5 days that I am recommending is just my personal adjustment to the medication that I think may help you if you're planning to use finasteride 5 milligrams and cutting it. However, please work the proper frequency with your prescribing doctor, okay? Your doctor is still your number one source of information on how you should take the medication, the dosage, and the frequency. And please, do not be scared when asking questions from your doctor or your nurse or even your pharmacist. They are your number one go-to if you need help and they are very much willing to answer all your questions. So there you go guys with another nursing and hair care. I hope that you guys learned something and enjoyed this video. If you guys have any further questions or suggestions, you know what to do. Please leave it in the comment section below. Follow me on my Instagram, Facebook page, and TikTok. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and families. And as always, never self-diagnose. Always consult with the healthcare professions for proper diagnosis and treatments. Again, thank you all so much at magkikita kita ulit tayo on my next video. Bye-bye!